yes, there is a forex shortage in Trinidad and Tobago. The country's foreign exchange reserves have been declining in recent years, due to a number of factors, including the decline in oil prices, the COVID-19 pandemic, and Russia-Ukraine war. This has made it difficult for businesses and individuals to obtain foreign currency, such as U.S. dollars, which are needed to import goods and services. The Central Bank of Trinidad and Tobago has taken a number of measures to address the forex shortage including selling foreign currency to authorized dealers, increasing interest rates, and imposing foreign exchange controls. However, these measures have had limited success so far. The forex shortage is expected to persist in Trinidad and Tobago for the foreseeable future. This is likely to have a negative impact on the economy, as it will make it more difficult for businesses to operate and for individuals to travel and purchase imported goods. Here are some of the causes of the forex shortage in Trinidad and Tobago. Decline in oil prices. Trinidad and Tobago is a major oil exporter, and the decline in oil prices in recent years has led to a decline in government revenue. This has reduced the amount of foreign currency that the government has to spend on imports. COVID-19 pandemic has also had a negative impact on the economy of Trinidad and Tobago. The pandemic has led to a decline in tourism and business activity which has reduced the demand for foreign currency. Russia-Ukraine War The Russia-Ukraine War has also contributed to the forex shortage in Trinidad and Tobago. The war has led to an increase in the price of oil and other commodities, which has increased the cost of imports. The forex shortage is having a negative impact on the economy of Trinidad and Tobago. Businesses are struggling to obtain foreign currency to import goods and services and individuals are finding it difficult to travel and purchase imported goods. The government is also facing challenges in paying for imports and servicing its debt. The government is taking a number of measures to address the forex shortage, but these measures are likely to take time to have an impact. The forex shortage is likely to persist in Trinidad and Tobago for the foreseeable future. I just came out of Republic Bank Valbach, met with one of the senior big Sawatis. I told him, you know, sometime later on this month, I'll be flying out. You know, normally I try to go ever so often and do my medical checkups and all those things. So I will be heading out to do that. And um, he looks at me and he says, well, um, how much US you want? I say, really? I say, okay, I need 10,000 US, right? He looks at me and he smiles. I say, okay, no problem. I also asked, I told him that with the new cycle with the foreign exchange, your card, let me just pull up on the side here so this thing don't shake up, right? With the cycle with the foreign exchange where Republic Bank cut your card in half, it depends on when the cycle is and that is how much you'll get. So my son decided, well, okay, he'll go in a trip with me. So fine, I say no problem because we are leaving almost to the end of this month. And the gentleman turns to me and they give me, well, let's see if I have it here, boy. All right. One, two. This is what I got from Republic Bank for two persons going away, traveling for about four days at the end of the month. 600 US dollars and you're not even sure that your credit card is going to have money because of the cycle we are being treated less than equals in this country it's like the animal farm syndrome all over and we don't care all we can do is talk and yap on Facebook and TikTok and that is it. We do nothing else. We tolerate this. 
we have to go now and look um hey boy you have any us to sell and literally beg and these same banks are getting billions of dollars to distribute to who the hell they want while we the average citizens catch we tail and frotter the mouth like dogs imagine that 600 stinking us dollars right 600 us for me and my son 600 us to spend for four five days republic bank valpark i hardly get anything for my business at that bank and this is why i think legally something has to be done we as the citizens have to come together and we have to do something our business is suffering our business is floating at the mouth we cannot use credit cards to do business whereas there are some people bringing in millions of dollars of us in cars and nobody has seen nothing the fiu blind the banks blind the board of inland revenue everybody blind there are people bringing in containers of this product that product and every month is a different thing and they get in us without a problem but i have to float at the mouth to get some us i have to float and catch